The problem with our current approach to producing meat is the high environmental impact. The new EPSRC Sustainable Manufacturing Hub looks to address these environmental impacts by introducing and manufacturing new cultured meat technologies. I'm Professor Marianne Ellis. I'm a professor of bioprocess and tissue engineering, and I work at the University of Bath. Cultured meat in its basic form is pure muscle cells. So whereas meat as we traditionally know it is a tissue made up of many different cell types, what we're looking at for the first generation of cultured meat are pure muscle cells that are a protein ingredient and can be added into other foods, other food products, or perhaps 3D printed um, into a steak. The process aims to alleviate the environmental impact of traditionally produced meat by growing just the muscle cells, not the whole animal. By doing that, we are predicting massive decreases in the amount of greenhouse gas emitted, large decreases in the amount of water required, and also much reduced land use. The resources required are the cells themselves, the nutrient solution to feed the cells, and the scaffold to grow the cells on. Ultimately, we're aiming for the media, the nutrient solution and the scaffold to be entirely plant-based. The power requirement and the energy to be fulfilled by renewables. There are two main challenges to scaling up the manufacture of culture meat. The first is taking tissue engineering technology, originally developed for somewhat smaller scale biomedical applications, and the second is creating a brand new supply chain for this industry. We're tackling these main challenges by inventing, discovering new technologies, but importantly, those new technologies are being developed by transdisciplinary teams. For example, social scientists, engineers working together on the technology, but also the ethical questions. An important consideration is the impact on farmers and their current businesses and we are working with the farming community to look at opportunities, for example, being part of the new supply chain and potentially seeing an increase in the value of traditionally produced meat. It's really important for this project to be funded because well, it's the future of our planet. There's a number of really great researchers around the country doing work in cellular agriculture and this seven-year project will bring all of that expertise together to really solve the big challenges.